We're gonna do a wet and wet. We're using our landscape sketchbook here. And this is a multimedia sketchbook by Bind Fang. Really cool stuff. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a wet and wet for the first African um, penguin on this side. So I'm gonna be doing kind of a teardrop shape. So you're not gonna be able to really see what I'm doing right now until I start adding the black and that's okay. So I'm gonna do a teardrop shape and we're doing four African penguins today. In a teardrop shape, laying down water here. And you're not gonna really be able to see what I'm doing until I start adding the black. It's even hard for me to do this right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up my black here and use part of my mixing palette here. And I'm just gonna hit that painted area with black. And because it's wet, it's gonna kind of do this really cool explosion of color, right? And I'm pushing paint around a little bit. I want to make sure that the neck area up here is a little bit darker than the body. All right. And you can't really force watercolor. So one thing I learned when I first started using watercolor is that you can't necessarily force it. I'm just gonna load this up and make the neck darker. Okay. Wow. So that's the shape I'm looking for, guys. So try that right now, please. I want these kind of cloudy mixing softness going on here. Yeah. All right. Now, I did this just in these areas with this teardrop shape, kind of an eggplant shape, right? And then the very top of the African penguin. I'm gonna go in with more control of my paint now to add some feet here at the bottom where it's not wet, where it's dry paper. Okay, so I'm just gonna give me these little feetsies coming off. Now, if for whatever reason this mixes with uh, the body paint, that's okay. I'm not trying to force anything. So there's one foot and coming off here, and another foot. So again, I'm, I'm using my mixing palette and I'm just kind of stretching that paint with water. And I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna give him a little bit of a, his wing. So that's his flipper. Just coming off the main body here. So just. And a little bit of black on the top here, just a smidge. Next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw his facial markings. Now, you know, African penguins have these facial markings that are kind of cool. And someone said yesterday, it looks a lot like a really fat Nike symbol coming here and then going out. Right? So I'm making this, it looks like a like a pipe, maybe. And then connecting the top to it like that. And then a little eye.
What I did forget yesterday in my demo is giving him like a little tail, but I don't think we're gonna do that. I don't think we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep it just like that. Now, we have one African penguin now, but what we also need to do is give him a surfboard. So we're gonna give him a bright red shortboard. For those of you who don't surf a shortboard, it's like a, a thruster shape, right? So I'm just loading up my red here, and I'm doing some test. So I'm going to put the tail end of the surfboard on this end over here. The tail end of the board is going to go back here, and then the nose of the board is going to go this way. Okay. So I'm going to kind of figure it out. Yeah, I'm gonna start near his shoulder, pull a curve down, give it a squash tail, I mean a flat tail, and have this curve up. And once I have that shape down, I can just fill it in with that red. And I'm gonna stretch it, you know, because this is like a, a translucent red. Get as close to his body as possible. If for whatever reason I do end up touching and moving that black and mixing in with the red, that's okay. No big deal. So I have the tail end of his board. I'm gonna continue that curve up here. All right. From here too as well, kinda of fit in some red here underneath his fin and then connect it. All right. And then just fill it in. There's a magic that happens when you're using watercolor. There we go. There's one penguino or the red surfboard. Wash my brush off. Use my tissue to kind of pull off any dirty water that's in the brush. And then load up the black a little bit more. Load up the black, water it down. And then I'm going to clean my brush one more time. Grab some water. Now I'm gonna be making my second African penguin. My second African penguin is gonna be the smaller buddy of the first one, right? So it's gonna be a little bit smaller, a little bit more spry, a little bit more enthusiastic about going out and surfing with his buddy, right? So we're gonna make a smaller teardrop. You're not gonna, it's gonna be hard to see where he is, but I'm gonna put him right here. He's gonna be smaller. I have a little teardrop here. And then, and then I'm gonna do his head. Right. Coming off of there. Looks kind of like a um, eggplant again. Eggplant shape. I'm pushing in paint right now. It's blooming in the wet and wet, which is totally fine. Doing his head, dropping in paint. So it just kind of goes. Yeah. Smaller buddy, more blooms of black. black eggplant. Yeah. Fun. And because we pre-wet this area with water, it's gonna all those all those little blossoms and blooms of black are gonna kinda stay within that area. Now I'm going to draw or paint, excuse me, his little feet. Come 
here. Give him a little foot. foot. On this side, we're going to have him kind of picking his, his heel up because he's stepping towards his buddy. plant with just plain water hit it with the black pull out for a little feet we're gonna put a little wing his little wing is gonna come off right here yeah Sophie am I going too fast Am I going too fast? Okay. So if I'm going too fast, just throw it in the chat or just, you know, shout at me. Russell, slow down. Oh, man, I, you know, I tend to go quick. It's not my fault. It's just, you know, when you make art all day, every day, sometimes you just go at a, at a really quick pace. Don't mean to do that, though. Okay. Sometimes it happens. This is going to be posted on my YouTube channel, so if, if for whatever reason you're missing supplies or you're not, you're just want to watch first and then engage in it, it's totally fine. So now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to make the little inverse like Nike sign here to make his his little his little uh, beak area and head area. So there's that Nike symbol in reverse. Okay, and then finish off the beak. And then a little eyeball. So. Oh my goodness. He's so excited. Now, wash off my brush, wash it off in the tissue, and pick a color. I think I'm gonna do a yellow board for this guy. Yellow, yellow board. He's gonna have a little short board. And then we're going to. Oh, there's Kim. I have a little short board here. We're gonna do the, the back of that short board first behind his right shoulder. So we're gonna put it right here. So we at the back of the board, I'm gonna fill it in now with the yellow that I have. It's going to be a, a shorter board, so we're going to, I'm going to imagine them containing the curve. All right, same thing here. And then I'll grab some water. Now, if you make your penguins bigger than mine, that's okay too. I had some students yesterday tell me that their penguins are too big. That's totally fine. If you only end up doing two, that's okay. If you end up doing three, that's okay. If you end up doing one, then we need to have a conversation. All right, so we have now two penguinos, two African penguins getting ready to go surf on the beach. Super fun. 
Every morning I drive to Carmel from Seaside and every time I get to look at the waves as I'm coming to work. And today it was really small but super clean and blowing offshore. Man, I really wanted to call in sick. But I still love my job because look at me, I'm, I get to paint penguins. This is my job, I'm painting penguins. All right. So we're gonna do a third guy. Third guy is gonna be a little bit bigger than these other dudes. He's gonna be what we would call a local heavy, right? Someone who's like, you know, late 50s, early 60s, little chunky, rides a big surfboard, barks the little groms, you know, and tells them like, you know, get out of my way, don't drop in on me. I've been surfing here for 30 years. So we're gonna draw a heavy. All right, so the heavy is gonna be a bigger dude, bigger than this guy, okay? It's gonna be a little bit wider, a little more heavy set, I guess. Local heavies tend to be a little bit thick in the waistline. Not their fault, you know, metabolism slow down when you get older and you start holding on the couch a little bit more, you know? So he's gonna be looking towards our right so, this is kind of hard to see. Okay, and then we're gonna turn his head that way. All right. Okay, now we're gonna hit it with some black. Local heavy. Yeah, he's going to be a little bit more robust than the other guys. Right? And he's gonna have a really confident like stance. Like he knows like his reputation at the break is kind of solid. So he's gonna have this like cowboy-esque stance, really a confident stance, you know, like, yeah. So we're gonna get him this like wide, exaggerated stance. Just super confident. A local heavy. We're gonna put uh, his left like wing, it's gonna be out here. We're gonna have it shaped a little like he's holding his board, which is exactly what he's going to be doing. All right. Okay. So we're going to give him his little Nike symbol. And finish his So there's our, our local old school heavy, uh, the shock collar in the break. We're gonna give him a green board. Uh, probably give him a forest green board. Yeah. 
Life's hard when you're a grom and you're like a little 13 year old kid trying to navigate your way through surf breaks. It's tough, it's very tough. So I have a Kelly, uh, no, excuse me, forest green. I'm gonna put that forest green surfboard, it's gonna be a long board. So I'm gonna put it like right here on his left fin coming down. kind of fill in this area here. This is part of the board. We're gonna extend that up. Go all the way up here. So I'm gonna go. Yep. Yeah. It's a big board. This is a big boy, look at him. I mean, these other little surfboards will not hold his um, his his gravity defying girth. A little loop. Really straight rails almost. All the way down. Fill this in. Put a little hint of the board back down here. All right. And water this green down so I can fill in all this area here. Grab some water. And then stretch the screen. You can do that by adding water to the pigment you might have laid, just laid down onto the page and push, push it around. And because I created an outline with the paint that's already kind of drying, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. You can also go through and just add some areas, do a little wet and wet. Right, and then push it to the edge. Boom. Super fun. Look at that. Okay. We're going to move on now to the very last African penguin. Wash my brush, get it as clean as possible. And we're gonna make his, um, the heavy is gonna have a buddy, right? All heavies have a little wingman or sidekick, you know? Like some, someone who loves his friend and will overlook his, his water arrogance, you know? Like some, some guys just like, that's just Bob, man. Bob, Bob's a heavy, I know, but Bob's Bob's like, you know, he's, he's my boy. You know, we've been surfing together for 30 years, and um, as long as he's yelling at Groms and not me, I'm cool, right? So the heavy, Bob, always has a buddy. And we're going to put Bob's buddy over here, right? Bob's buddy right here he's gonna be a little bit smaller than Bob a little bit more timid I guess kind of callowed but he is like his whole world kind of thing so here comes I don't know what Bob's buddy's friend would be I don't know Maybe a Chad. Maybe his name is Chad. That sounds like a bully's best friend. Chad. Chad's the guy that Bob tells to go get some carne asada fries. 
after they go to serve, you know. So, Chad's not going to have as much of a, of a confidence stance as, as Bob, so he's going to be kind of, feet are going to be together kind of thing. stance you might say more timid stance you know like that meek and then we'll give a shad yeah it's kind of leaning over kind of thing But the thing about Chad, he's gonna be kind of a good surfer, right? We're gonna make him a kind of a good surfer. So he's gonna be riding what is called a Liz fish, okay? A Liz fish is a little twin fin fun board. It's got a lot of volume, it's really wide, and it's also small, so. Gonna give Chad a Liz fish. So, again, I'm going to do the back of the board first. So, we'll have it coming across here. And then a little cut in here. And cut out here. Right. And we'll curve. And pull. that curve up here. Now, we have four surfing little penguins. Super fun. What we're going to do now is we're going to give a little bit of a grayish shadow for them. We're just standing, so we're going to cut across the gray here on the very bottom of each one of these penguins. So I'm just going to go in with my black and water it down. And I'm just going to do really fast. First stroke's going this way. Couple more. Okay. All right. Those are our four surfing penguin guys.